Hey, I'm James from J Technology, and we are back here at CES 2016 at the Intel booth. Uh, we have uh, Super Marion. He is the uh, drone uh, systems engineer, um, and he's going to talk what this Intel RealSense technology is all about. Uh, Super Hi, James, thanks. Uh, thanks for stopping by uh, Intel booth. Uh, we have uh, demonstrating a Typhoon uh, H uh, uh, powered by Intel uh, chipset, and uh, it has a RealSense uh, depth collision avoidance uh, system. Um, yeah, we are uh, happy to uh, share and uh, explain what you need. So this real sense technology, what is it involving and who would actually use this? And is, is it for um, uh, businesses, consumers? It's for consumer drone at this moment. This API is available for uh, other uh, developer explorers if they like to uh, explore more. But currently this is uh, uh, releasing as a consumer grade drone for anybody want to do a, a bike. Uh, trails and uh, any sports activities where they want to follow and uh, make a uh, nice uh, aerial photography under uh, uh, sh shorter range so it won't uh, uh, hit the trees or any obstacles when they are recording their uh, selfie or uh, aerial photography of the, uh, uh, the action sports. Okay, so how does it actually work? I, I noticed that you have a camera, a uh, 4K camera looks like, and then uh, it looks like these are sensors here. Yeah, so we have a 4K camera for uh, aerial photography. It has a micro SD, you can record as much as you want and high quality. But the other two cool, interesting uh, aspect is the real sense camera, depth camera. It is an infrared based. It can uh, detect anywhere from uh, half meter to five meters uh, range, and it operates at the 90 frames per second. So uh, at uh, VGA resolution, so it can detect uh, very fast uh, uh, when it's flying in a, uh, the optimal speed. So it can detect and uh, avoid the uh, uh, avoid any obstacles on the way. And also, it has an ultrasonic sensor. If in case if there is a reflection or if there is any uh, uh, inference uh, I interference to the infrared, it can pick up with the ultrasonic to avoid the uh, collisions. So it is a uh, uh, fusion based, it can do uh, supporting each other, like an infrared based uh, camera as well as ultrasonic sensor to uh, support each other to give a best uh, collision avoidance uh, experience. So for example, if, 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 it's, if you're in the woods or somewhere and there's two trees or two obstacles, how does it determine, um, you know, is it going to go through the the two large trees, or how does that work? Yeah, out? it uh, detects. It has. It creates a, a bubble around itself. So if that if cannot enter through it, it makes the de predictions. The next uh, uh, path planning based. It kind of detects the next easiest path to go to the target right away. If if, if you are going, if it is following you, it try to see as it try to find the shortest distance to reach you. So to maintain the distance, it try to find the optimal distance on the fly it kind of computes on the uh, on the fly and uh, detects and uh, uh, follows you so it is not a, a very predefined uh, case but it's case to case suppose if the trees are too close they totally avoid and goes uh, around if it is wider enough it can go through it okay so uh, this it uh, has sensors but also you have controller here, so how does that work along yeah. with the sensor? So uh, when you're uh, using a sports action, we get a controller and also a, a widget. Widget is a smaller controller, you can put it on your packet, and when you're doing a, a trial rain and other activities, you can use it as a follow me device. This is uh, this uh, uh, high quality uh, monitor controller or base station is mainly for uh, uh, line of sight and uh, where you want to f photograph from the ground by controlling it, not following, but it's more to uh, recording an high quality video and uh, more for uh, uh, manual controls. So the widget that you're actually carrying, that is uh, your sensor basically? Yeah, that is a GPS. There is a GPS on the widget and also GPS on the drone. So it kind of use that uh, to see how far you want to maintain the distance between you and the drone. And how big is the widget? Widget is uh, very tiny. It's like a regular TV remote. Uh, it's uh, shown in the key uh, BK keynote yesterday. Uh, it, it's uh, you can find them on our uh, website and also unique websites. Yeah. And then the monitor here with the infrared. What? Yes. That's what. Uh, these sensors are actually seeing? Yeah, what we are showing here is a depth computation, uh, what uh, the real sense camera is seeing. It's a 16-bit uh, depth image. 
uh, we just rendering it in a color pattern so you can understand the uh, red one is the closest and uh, as you go for the blue so it kind of gives the uh, human perspective how the drone is visually seeing them and use the algorithm to compute them and uh, on real time so we are showing a live demo here to show the high frame rate 90 frames per second uh, rendering uh, we can have a multiple modes you can fall back to 60 we can fall back to 30 based on the use cases if you want a very close to low speed scenarios you can fall back to lower frame rate where we don't need to compute so much power and Okay, so the red is closer and then the blue is a little farther? Far, farthest, yeah. So, uh, and it's a configurable map, just for rendering it's showing here, but it's just a 16-bit value. Um, is this available right now? It's available in the se second half of uh, this year, uh, sec second quarter, I think the uh, yeah, second half of uh, this 2016. And uh, what kind of price range are we looking at? I think it's $2,000, uh, yes. Okay. And you can use the, uh, it's basically the sensors, you can use on other drones? Uh, it's only goes with x86 uh, chipset, atom processor, and uh, it's not uh, sold as a peripheral yet. Maybe the near future, Unique will announce uh, uh, if there is accessories. But currently, it's an integrated system. It, it works only with an uh, Intel-powered uh, uh, chipsets. We got the... Uh the drone here flying already. So how do, what are we actually seeing here now? Yeah, we are showing here our uh, Intel uh, RealSense powered uh, unique Typhoon H drone here. Uh, it is an uh, Atom uh, processor computing the depth at uh, 90 frames per second and uh, feeding back to the drone. So the drone can make a very smart uh, decisions. What we are showing here is, uh, is is uh, able to first we are demonstrating a 360 degree uh, gimbal rotation so it can uh, continuously can uh, follow the follow the the controller so the controller if or the widget over uh, holding the widget and uh, if the if you are recording for uh, aerial videography it just continuously records you with uh, irrespective of the direction the drone flies okay so yeah that's the uh, demo it's going on right now at this moment Vigid as a GPS and the drone as a GPS. Here we are using an indoor GPS, uh, uh, so OptiTrack system, which is giving a, a coordinate system of the helmet and the drone. So it's using those uh, intelligence to follow these guys. So currently it's following him so that it's kind of uh, maintaining the direction. So basically uh, the sensors on his helmet would be like the, the widget. It's yeah. just a, just is for a demo. Yeah, it is for an indoor demo, but a real world you will have a, a, a widget which is uh, you'll be putting in your back packet. It will uh, follow you. Currently, is demonstrating a follow me feature where it is using that coordinate system to follow him. At the same time, we are also demonstrating the collision avoidance. He is asking the drone to go through straight line, but it's finding the uh, the the obstacle and uh, obstacle. Uh, a pillar and it's trying to avoid it without colliding through it. So it's finding a, an optimal position to bypass and following him. But how accurate is that sensor? I mean, uh, to find that there's an obstacle there. Yeah, it is uh, very accurate because it's uh, can uh, do up to seven millisecond. It's very uh, 90 frames per second. So it's very accurate. It can then do it in a very smart and fast manner. And also, it continuously creates the map. So it kind of helps the drone to keep remembering uh, if anything already seen. So what happens is in a forest, if you keep going in one direction, and if you already saw a, a tree, when you're flying backwards, it will detect, it knows there's a tree there, and it avoids them. Is there any other manufacturers uh, doing anything like this? Uh, I can't comment about our competitors, but otherwise, uh, this uh, real sense, this is a uh, one of a kind, first time we can demonstrate this eye. Uh, frame rate, live real-time uh, computation on board. It's demonstrated on uh, real uh, real sense technology, and this is the uh, the one uh, live depth cameras available in the world right now. Well, thank you very much, Super Marion. Oh, thanks, James, for stopping by our Intel booth and uh, enjoy the rest of the show and uh, explore our other uh, demos. Thank you. Thank you.